Okay, we'll call the uh, meeting to order. Is it on? Yep. Okay. So, uh, it's 7.04, roughly. And um, we're going to run through the, the, uh, what's on the agenda. We have two pending applications. The Arundel Commerce Center for uh, the site review and determination of completeness. Brookside Estates for review of sidewalk findings and the new application, Mark Welch and Sons registering, uh, re registering a existing contract. Yeah. So, um, and then the finished report. Let's start with the uh, approval minutes. So, we get a roll call first? We do a, sure, we do a roll call. Marty's here. Yeah. Uh, start. See, who are you? Marty? Yeah. How are you? Okay, Chip Bassett. Along again. Jamie Lally. Roger Moran. Got a good way plan. Okay. So we mm -hmm. want to approve, make a motion to approve the agenda. I make a motion to approve the agenda. Okay, we have a second on that. I'll second. 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 Any questions? All in favor? Okay. None opposed. All right. Then uh, approval of minutes, which um, we just get. I don't know if. I, 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 I do not want to approve. Okay. Do you want to table that? Mm. Yeah. Can I make a motion? I'm oh, sorry, can I make a motion that we set these aside until I have a chance to compare them to my notes? You can do that. Is that a motion? Area. I make a motion that we table this until next meeting. Okay. Can you second on that? <coughs> Second. Okay, any discussion? There are none. All in favor of that motion? I suppose you are in favor of that too. Yes. Any opposed? Okay, good. So we'll jump right into lot three of the Rundle Commerce Center. Um, plenary site plan review determines completeness. I'm here, but Dan Riley is not here from. Uh, Mike Shea, who represents Mike Shea. Okay, would, uh, should we wait until uh, we'll move on to another item until he gets here? He's no. not coming. Is, yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Oh, is he coming? No. He's, he's, not, coming. he's not coming? No. Oh. He called me and said he's not going to come. He's not going to come? No. He didn't come here. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> then it's all, yeah, okay. I'll have to <clears throat> chew him out for making me a social secretary. Yeah, that's okay. And basically, what they did is they they've asked for an, an extension. For extension. He, he did. He, I thought he was going to ask for that tonight. He did. He, he letter form. Oh, another form. Okay, he asked. For, okay, before the meeting. Okay. okay. And I think so. We could act on. Yeah, I think we're on. We you want have to, to act on that tonight. All right. Mm -hmm. We we really need to act on that no. tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the um, the the extension has to be within thirty days of when. We last met right. the public hearing for the public hearing. Yeah. So, you, you, I guess you'll be representing yourself. Yeah. But, so uh, I think this is simple enough. So, everybody probably got a copy of that letter mm -hmm. from Sebago Technics. Mm -hmm. Got a chance to read that. It's dated today. Dated today. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Okay, I don't have any issue with granting that extension. How, uh, uh, just as a question, how are things progressing with uh, your neighbor? <laughs> <That's just Yeah. laughs> Hence the letter of extension. <laughs> Thank you for. Uh, <laughs> I wish you were here. I'd, I'd, I'd uh, ask him a couple of questions. Like okay. To, like I gave a substantial to offer. I offered. I'll tell you what the deal is. No, you don't need. We don't need to know okay. any of the details there. I just was anyway, wondering I, if I we were a substantial <laughs> offer to hook up to the water and uh, to, the, to the, you know, uh, to the yep. Kenny Buck water. Yep. And the only thing I didn't offer was somebody to go in there and pour water for him when he needs a drink of water. So that's that's amazing. <laughs> and you're just you're <laughs> still yeah. waiting to hear anything. I'm still waiting to hear. Okay. Yeah. Still waiting to hear. So go ahead, Rob. Okay. Uh, I'd like to make a motion that we approve the uh, application. The applicant's request for a 30 day extension. Okay, good. We have a second. Uh, second. Great. So, if any uh, discussion on that, we can start coming. So, there are none. All in favor? Okay, okay. none. Okay. Yes, so, good. Thank you. Okay. So, you have your extension. 
In fact, you uh, sent out a formal notice on that, or is that like, no, I think we're all set then. No, he'll call me in the morning. Or okay. I'll call him and I'll just tell him I have to get it. Okay, good. All right, we'll move on to uh, Brookside Estates. We'll, uh, we just did a site walk with um, Jason, the day group, and we have a chance to discuss what we observed. Anybody have any comments to make or observations? Uh, it, it, it looked to me as if a significant part of the buffer had been cut on both lot 1 and lot 10, and then they had the sight line requirement from DOT, and which obliterated the buffer on that side. I, I, there is more of a problem on that lot 10 than I realized with the last meeting in terms of the understory being completely gone. That, that's not 25 feet deep of trees there. It's more like 15. Um, so I don't know if the plan, I, don't, I apologize, I did not bring the pole to the, the drawing in it, but did the, did the plan provided by the landscape architect include planning along Lot 10 as well as lot 1? Uh, no, it just says it's lot well, it Yeah, it, 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 didn't, it didn't specifically call for any, but it, it has a general note of the woodland area, the trees that were left to be enhanced. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, let's, I would suggest let's focus on what what they have proposed for the buffer on lot one. And start with that. Start with that and then have any discussion. Make sure we're, you know, okay. happy uh, comments, anything I, along those lines. I have a question from the, from the rest of the board. We've got a letter dated today from Robert Metcalf, president of Mitchell Associates which says that the planning plan, in our professional opinion, addresses the intent of the zoning regulations in 7.8 landscape. Is, is, that, is that what we need? Um, the, if we were dealing with 7.8, he'd be right, but we're dealing with 8, 4B, 11, which is a little different standard. That's the one that goes with cluster subdivision. And that that, um, that basically says the development shall be designed with a continuous landscape area not less than 50 feet in length which shall contain no structures. The first 25 feet of the buffer strip as measured from the exterior boundaries of the development shall contain evergreen shrub, fences, trees, walls, or any combination which forms an effective visual barrier to be located on all exterior lot lines of the development except the streets and driveways shall be kept open and provided this way for vehicles and the development. Um, that's that's the standard that's got to be. So it's eight. So that's eight four B eleven. Page one. It's in the uh, notes from September first. So the uh, beyond the first twenty five feet. 26 to 50 feet, and that's not really no, that's a concern for yeah, yeah, that, that could be that could be open. Yeah. That can be open area. They just don't have structures. Okay. okay. What, what's so. the what's the difference between 7.8 landscaping and 8.4 B? It's the buffer. Uh, it's the issue of visual access. That's what really the difference is. Um, 8.4 B11 says, and in the operative word in there is an effective visual barrier. 
and I will give you 7, 8, um, which says, well, there's a whole bunch with 7, 8. Um, landscape shall be preserved in its natural state by minimizing tree removal, slope rate changes, and keeping the general appearance of the neighboring developed areas. It shall be designed to soften, screen, or enhance the physical design of structures and parking areas. Um, then it goes into the next, that's 78A, 78B deals with industrial or commercial buildings and parking lots. Um, which won't apply to this. Then. Which really doesn't apply to this. Uh, it's buffering the, between incompatible land uses, basically industrial and commercial buildings. And then 78C uh, says landscaping must consist, consist of full vegetated ground cover, rock bark, or other non woven material may be used only to accent and for accent in landscaped areas, all landscaped areas must be maintained in a healthy growing condition. So the issue of, of softening is absolutely true. Uh, the, the only thing is that the, the standard that you're grappling with is the uh, in the applicant's grappling with is this what constitutes an effective visual barrier. That's what the that's what the requirement is. is. And what what was in the original plan as approved? It was a no cut zone. The planning board approved 25 foot no cut zone. So it was to be left in an existing state. Well, if just a question. It's going to be good enough for the planning board. Follow up with, I think, what Jamie was saying. It is um, looking at the plan we received last time, is that do the job is that, is that what we're looking for? I think at the last meeting, you folks asked these guys to get the LA to write a letter saying that yes, my plan does meet 8 4 B 11. But it might have been a mix up there. And, and you referenced 7 8 instead of 8 4 B 11. That's all. Well, we did that to our man. Yeah. We understand what he meant. Well, well the difference is I guess software. my question is, 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 is it sounds to me as if there's a substantive difference between 7, 8, and 8, 4, B, 11 in terms of what the standard is. So my, my follow-up question is, did, did was Mr. Metcalf looking at 7, 8.4, B, 11 and just accidentally typed 7.8? Or did he design a plan to meet the requirements of 7.8? Uh, I'm really that much different. I think to me, I think it, I think they can be both met doing the same thing. I don't know what anybody else thinks on that. Well, I I think the, the, the other way to do this is to ask Mr. Metcalf if 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 it does meet eight four B eleven. I think that is what you were looking for. Mm. So rather than you make that determination and ask since you've asked an LA to get a certification, you should get a certification for the, the right standard. Can it, can we uh, I don't know whether we just this to the chair or not. Can, can we determine the uh, requirements met subject to a letter that, sub that refers to the correct chapter? Um, that could be a condition, maybe, uh, of approval. That's Okay, and then and then the other the, uh, the other thing is in lot ten. Yeah, lot ten is, is so so. Let's go back to let's stay on lot one for a second because we've got a, a little bit of an issue with how this drawing was, and I'm not by any means suggesting we we overcomplicate this by a revised plan. But what I where it, it looks to be have a little bit of a gap. What I'd like to see and you know more to you guys is to take this scale of the drawing and, and sort of squeeze it down just a little bit to, to fit the length of the lot that was disturbed, for lack of a better word. You know where you had that one clump of trees down at the far corner of the lot? Yeah, by the mailbox. Yeah, take this 
sort of the, I mean, my opinion would be to take these same number of plantings and just, you know, as long as that's appropriate from a planting standpoint, spacing and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, those are shown. Trying to, you know, just sort of make that, that buffer a little denser with the, the plantings that he's shown here. And, you know, I think that would... I'd have to would ask help. some of them plants right. you can't plant them too dense. And that's, what I, don't, and that's what I don't know, just yeah, I don't speaking know. off the cuff. But that's, I mean, I think I'd, I'd be all in, you know, I'd be supportive of, of that type of approach for lot one. And, you know, I think that would provide a, a pretty healthy barrier right up in, in through there. And I mean, I haven't counted the number of larger trees in there, but, you know, you probably have the number that's that's proposed in here is probably comparable to what, you know, we saw in lot 10 and, you know, not knowing whether any, any larger ones were taken down uh, behind behind what we saw that was up closer to the road. Well, what it's got basically is deciduous and right. uh, coniferous together. Yeah. It's got the coniferous behind it so they can take it. Mm -hmm. So basically when the deciduous drops the sleeves, you got the, the coniferous behind it. So that's pretty good. It's a little, little, little mm -hmm. uh, thing in, in the middle there, but yeah. Well, and that and was my thought, is if it was, if the, the plantings that were farther, you know, farther towards Route 1 along Log Cabin Road were essentially shifted up to be in the, all in the area of where it was, was cleared, yeah. then I think, I think that would would be in pretty good shape. Would the uh, the letter that you wrote fulfill that though? I mean, you think, because there are no dimensions really. That doesn't really yeah. specify the location. So right. I think uh, the the letter seems well, to be saying. Well, um, if, to, if we're going to scale, I think there are some some gaps in there, and, and it's going more than twenty five feet. I don't know if you want to do that. It looks like it's going closer to that building envelope dash line, so it um, looks like it's more like 40 feet instead of 25 feet. I don't know if you want to do that, but I think all we require is up to 25 feet, and if, if based on the letter that says he will, um, this, his plan will meet the requirements. I could call Bob in the morning if that's okay with you guys and just say, Bob, here's the standard. Can you give me a letter that says? Yeah, it would be 8.3, 7 point eight. Yeah. Uh, that's Chinese so, to me. Yeah. Yeah. So what are the, I mean, if, if we, what's our level of approval tonight? Just all five of us, you know, three of the five of us raising our hand and saying, okay, yeah, you this is good. You guys sort of get the letter in for us that, that, you know, cites the correct uh, place in the ordinance and they go ahead and move forward you know without any more well, uh, that, any more discussion from us what you're doing is this is an amendment to the amendment to their subdivision plan um that's what you're doing this is an amendment to the subdivision plan in order to what they're going to want to what what this does is this replaces the the buffer that's shown on the plan, on the record plan, yeah. because that doesn't exist in the, on this lot. That that hatched area, as you recall, doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. So this this is in lieu of that. Maybe mm -hmm. several things. One is um, if if the landscape architect says it will be met and it's not met, then you still have a violation in effect. So I think I think it's, it, it, every uh, incentive to Make sure it's done right. That would be that, right? So, well, I mean, no, no, no. If, if you approve well, this and they build this, they build this to the standard. This is the new standard. If you approve this as as meeting eight four B right. eleven, that's it. But it still has to meet. Have, it has to meet that. And if no, it doesn't they have it. to build what's here. We're not going to go back along with, and, along and, with the, and say, well, that didn't quite make it, so you got to add more. I mean, that's that's no, and no, I, not fair. I, I'm saying that it, there's, there's two documents we're, we have, we're basing this on. One is the, the drawing. This will replace what's on the record plan. 
And when this replaces what's on the record plan, what the planning problem? board is saying, let me finish, the, the, the planning board is saying that this strategy here meets 8-4-B-11. See, that's, that's what I'm saying. There's no this, performance, it's no performance in the current, field. This means we're that's making that assessment. You're making the assessment. But this, this goes into the file, though, as well. And this is, yeah, this, this becomes problem. the record of the plan. Right, so, so I, I, I yeah. understand what you're saying. But but it's not it, just a it drawing, it's, it's this no, letter. That, that letter's justification, the drawing yeah. is what they have to build. Is there any change is to the subdivision plan that's recorded in Alfred required? I don't think so. I, I don't think so. I, except it does say no cut on it. But, I mean, this could be a note attached to it. And this is a planting plan in lieu of a no cut plan. Okay, but the, the planning plan doesn't show anything for lot 10 no. other than just a note. Correct. But you said you were just dealing with lot 1 right now. Yeah. Well, I didn't. Yeah, I, I suggested that. <laughs> yes, but the question is, according to these plantings, as shown, as we were on site, okay, this is extending into right. the, the woods, yep. which actually has not been touched right. by anything else. So some of this is not necessary because it's... Or, or even desirable. It needed or even desirable. I guess the question, how specific do we need? No, I'm just that saying that. If, if, you, if we went to turn around and started counting all the bushes or trees or whatever outside, and this end down here is, is not right. needed, so they don't come back and say, well, they didn't do it right. That's what I'm trying to get at. I mean, uh, yeah. 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 Well, we can do a field adjust based on that, Mark. Yeah. Huh? But I mean, they're, you know, as you heard the gentleman talk about, that they're not just doing this just to meet that standard. They're also creating an image out here for the project in order to make it more saleable and more attractive. Correct. So they're doing it more, you're doing more than what this calls for. What we're going to do is if there's excess yeah. on that side, because we're in the natural tree buck up, right. we're probably just going to roll that stuff over to the lot yeah, 10 side and help fill in that, because he's already throwing five five trees and you said whatever the other bush was earlier. Five urns. So five urns. Five urns. There's a bunch of eagles. It's a short. It goes about eight feet. And then it's the same stuff you get on this side. Eight. It's it's yeah. dead hot. It's a, it's a, it grows about eight feet in about because that's what hey, uh, that's what uh, Robert and Dale suggested. So, I mean, do you, it's, it's Ted, do you feel what they what they're talking about is going to going to grow in and provide a, a good buffer on the other next side? few years no, on no. both sides? On this side, I think this works fine. I don't know how much Bob's looking at on the other side. Oh, okay, that's what I thought you were talking yeah. about the extra. Yeah, he's got five and five hemlocks, and then I think it was eight of those five burnums or whatever it is that he's talking about. He was, I think he's all he's got here though is the plant, planting schedule is only for a lot one. For that side, right, correct. Yeah, for a lot one. He has no planting schedule for, for 10. We'll, we'll, we'll need to talk about that. But before we do, uh, I'll get to you, Dan. Um, on, uh, it, you pointed out how the ledge was right there and served. So, does part of the uh, plan include building up some, enough yeah, soil? That plan is on a two and a half foot burn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so it's right there. So it's two and a half to three foot burn. burn. Yeah. Yeah. It shows three foot. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. so we're, we're we're three and, and he yeah. doesn't show up. So on the contour. Bob also doesn't want a straight burn no. running with log cabin or he wants it to be curved. No. No. It just provides good design. character. Right? Contour. Yeah. Assumption. Well, this is, that's part of the character. These well, guys are doing two things in this one throw here. They're basically creating a character entrance statement there. And they're also providing a buffer. And so that's that's why it's the way it is. It's a good solution for the problem. It's going to be bigger than it needs to be, but that's part of the, the image that they're going to create there. It's to their benefit. Um, if you guys agree with that, and obviously you do, that's why you submitted it. It's, it's a good solution to a, to a tricky problem. So, so I, I, I'll just say I, I'm I'm all right with with this lot with what's shown here. I don't know if anybody else has any strong objections. To I, I'm, I'm fine with lot 10, yeah. uh, lot 1. I am too, yeah. with the, just with the understanding to so leave like, what's, don't do don't exactly what's on here, now. leave what's out there. Natural, 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 natural. Yeah. 
and preferably try and you know grade out to where it is, and then you know try and make that that buffer a little more dense. Take take the same number of plantings if if possible, and squeeze them in as much. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. and that's something that Dale would right. have to say yep. whether no, you I, can or can't. I get He's that. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you can. I take them down. I'll put them in. <laughs> you can take it well, how, how, how far would you generally see these type of plants apart before you take them down? Not very, well, I don't know. <laughs> From time to time, we run across them. Probably not the thing you're looking at. <laughs> Dan, I'd like to give you a chance to have your hand up. I can't remember if it was this applicant or not one, but Chip had concern. I remember there was a percentage yeah. um, that you wanted somebody to say, hey, get me a percentage. Was that for this or was that for the champagne? For champagne, that champagne energy. energy. Is that was champagne? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is a, see, the champagne, the kicker is the definition of buffer. You were on Playboy when you came up with that definition because it, it meant 100 different things to 100 different people. Right. So we came up with that with that definition of between 75 and 100 percent of visual blockage. That's a buffer. That, I mean, and then I was just concerned that, you know, did that letter address that? But that's the other applicant. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Well, but but the re referring to the to the correct section yep. of the land use ordinance should address that. Yeah. Yeah. And I heard. Okay. So pretty well, good. With lock yeah. One. It sounds like there, there's no uh, dissent with on lock one. So we want do we want to do this in two one. pieces or do we? Uh, uh, I think so. Two that separate. Way. So I let's so just so get it. Well, they can proceed along the way. They have to turn out to have what it is. The season is coming for yeah. plantings and to make everything look pretty and everything else along the way. So, take a motion? Yeah. That we approve of. We'll as, need, as, as shown, with the exception of, as I said to uh, the other end. It, yeah. No disturbance of the existing. Vegetation yes. yeah. along yeah. the, what would that be, the westerly, the northwesterly corner of the. Just a range of long where I needed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. right. No. Okay. So there's our motion. We have a second. Second. That? Okay, second. Any other Who's that? Jamie? Jamie? Marty made the motion. Who's second? Um, Jamie. 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 So, um, any, any more discussion? Yeah, I've, 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 I've got a, a little bit pain in the butt, but I've got a problem specifically because of the season coming off with approving half of it and not all of it. Oh, no, I think we're going to move, move on, on to the next one. one. Going yes. Out. yes. We just want to move on separately. Have, I, right. I, 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 I'm not I'm <laughs> This is what's well, shown <laughs> for the unit, it, lock, unit one, okay? Then we're going to go back and turn and go, go discuss the other side. But right now we're just rather than hold this up. Right. Yeah. Uh, I, I know what you're saying. Um, I, I tend to agree with you, but the, the motion is on the floor and yeah, uh, one, whatever it is. Yes. Lock one. Lock, lock one. Good. Um, so we vote all in favor. Can I ask you a oh, question? Yeah. yeah. I would. Yeah. Anything that I would say would be conditional or contingent on getting a revised letter from right. that cat. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's, well, that's that's that's, let me ask you that. What do you mean? What if Bob says, whoops, no, I need more to Well, then he needs see. to do more of a plan. But you approve this one. You know, I'm a, I, don't, I mean, I don't, I don't want to. How would you call him? Bob and one. And you know Bob for yeah. several years. Yeah. Do you think he's going to say whoops? And then I don't know. I'll find out. I'd probably not. But I mean, if that happens, I don't want to come back here. Yeah. So would you? You're, you're thinking of packing it both, all of it at once? It's, it's how you. It's how you want to do it. I mean, yeah. I, I think both should be done at once. Frankly speaking, or if you want to do this, I mean, you've got a motion there. Then fine, we can do that. Well, but, I, 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 Mr. Chair, my, my preference would be, in a perfect world, to have a letter that addresses the right part of the land use ordinance and a plan that shows lot 1 and lot 10. Okay. Well, uh, I, I would but have to at, at, at the same time, it's September 22nd. So it's time to plan these things. So we're going to plan, plan them. 
played them in the fall. So you um, saw that plan, though, that what he wanted to do on lot 10, right? I think. No, he didn't say anything about lot 10. No, no. He didn't give any no. specifics. Got a motion on the floor. Yeah, yeah, so the motion, um, we, I don't know if, if you want to well, entertain well, that. Is just under discussion why I'm trying to proceed by what we have shown at this time, both for uh, trying to correct a bad situation. Mm -hmm. This is showing that the situation is being corrected along the way. So that it turns out that they aren't going to be held up for a building permit or anything else. Okay. That's the reason why I'm going for thinking of it this way. All right. Do you want me to read the uh, motion, Mr. Chair? Sure. sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the motion is to approve the proposed uh, remedial landscape plan. The lot one is, is designed by Mitchell and Associates, contingent upon the corrective letter from Robert Metcalf regarding the Section 8. 8.4.11. Thank you. 8.4.11. Thank you. That's the motion. Okay. Great. Good. 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 Just to move it forward. Any opposed? Any opposed? Yeah. We're in favor? Yeah. No, no, I'm opposed. Okay. They're not moving it forward. When you're, you're voting in favor of it, you're saying we're going to approve that plan. Right. Well, um, you but you don't know what's happening until the other lot. We haven't gotten there yet. Right. Yeah. So I know. I know. And that's where she, she had a conflict. I think hopefully yeah. we get them both done. Right. And, and it might just be in two different well, we have a vote right now. It's, 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 it's in favor, but it's Tom, Marty, and Jamie, and I, and Chip, and Roger, and Nick, and Danny, correct? Right. Okay, good. So that carries. So, so now we have to talk about the other lot, which lot is 10. lot 10, which is going to be, uh, we really don't have a plan for it. So I don't know. What's in the conversation of, of, Finding out that it meets the requirements that Tad's going to make a call tomorrow. Have them submit. Just get something into us. Yep. Get something there so that we can verbally see it so it will complete lot 10 okay. under okay. landscaping. Well, let me, can, can, <coughs> go. can I throw out a motion? Sure. Uh, I, I, I make a motion that. Um, the town planner be instructed to request Mr. Metcalf to uh, include lot 10 in a, a, as well as lot 1 explicitly in this letter uh, in addition to getting the correct uh, reference to this and, 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 and that he subsequently, I mean he's going to have to do a plan for you guys to plan. Well, that plan was submitted before we even had any questions. Right. On I don't. I, I, I understand. I understand completely. I'm just saying that 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 that, that he provide a drawing that includes trees on the south, south yeah. west, yeah. Top, whatever, whatever, whatever it is. Whatever just, it is. just you know that, that that he shows what's going to be done to fill in on right. on lot ten, in addition to uh, what's there for for. Uh, and that, and that doesn't. 84 B11. That means it's 84 B11. That's what you're saying. Okay. We have a second on that. I'll second on that. Okay. Second on that. Any discussion? I um, have one question about there is that like a, a point of trees that's sticking into the building envelope with the front Not corner. Anymore. And uh, so I don't know if. if if that needs to be part of your what are you speaking? your motion, that, that the clump of trees, that's, there's nothing there at all. So that's kind of indicating that something's there. Well, that was drawn in. That was yeah, just laid out showing envelopes. Yeah. I think it would be it would be best to not have that there. Otherwise, the plan would say you will be building 
got all that extra, probably like 60 feet in. Well, so that's just an underlay from the, the original plan he got from the civil engineer. Yeah. But if you look at it, there's a little wetland finger right, right. here that they're talking about. But it's right. still, it's be it's still right. would be on, on the, the, the plan. Lot 10. Yeah. Yep. Section. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you want that changed? Is that what I, you're saying? I think it should be removed. It's excluded from, from there. Just go within 25 feet, not. Right? Yeah, I think he just copied what the yeah. H2 two. Yeah, they just used yeah. that as so a So I can say it's an easy, easy yeah. uh, thing to do. Move but that, move we don't want to keep that there. Because otherwise, right. we'll be approving that it, you will be adding more trees than you, you need to. Okay. Now, question so that's also. It's your motion, so that, that would, um, I guess I'm asking if you would, you would include that as, as well. I, I, I just kind of take that as that it, this yeah. isn't this isn't here that that's okay I, I okay I would amend the motion that that the that the a, a plan landscape plan be given to the town planner and or a code enforcement officer whoever is appropriate mm -hmm. that 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 shows the buffer on lot 10 the way it's actually going to be no. Okay. I, that was that was Progress. what I intended from the game. All right. Thanks. And so we're still second. Yeah, still second. All right. Any other discussion? Yeah, I got one other. Yeah. Thing. You were speaking uh, before for lot ten, the drainage there. How are you going? Are you going to regroup that so that it it was like the old way, so it doesn't turn out and come back in here? Oh, correct. Okay. <laughs> That's going to be built up anyway. So yeah. But I'm just saying so that. It will flow once we south get instead of north. Correct. Right. Once we get an answer back, we can clean yeah. that ditch line. Yeah. But that's not part of the yes. needed for the landscaping. No. They're not exceptionally quick on getting back to people for little issues. No. <laughs> it's state. What do you want? Yeah. Okay. Anything yeah. else? Okay. All right. We are not all in favor of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Opposed? Okay. So, okay. you have to call Bob? I'm going to call Bob now. Okay. Talk about this. There's going to be a little work on it yet, so. Yeah. I'll hear from them. Yeah. We'll probably call Dale and see what he's got. Well, he actually got a little work on it. He's got his exception to see what he's got for stuff. Yeah, Dale and Dale. I do a lot of this here. Yeah. Can I get my emails up? It was just a packet from last time. No, we got it last time. No, no, it was dropped. They dropped it. Okay. Do you want to can? I, was in I don't know why. Bouncing back every time. You don't spell you my name right. right. I spell your name exactly the way James. I, I think he <laughs> has a J in front of your. Uh, I think he has no, a J for your logo. I quit that. I, I gave that up and I tried it again. It's just bully on it at gmail.com. Yeah, you yeah. 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 Okay. Jason, James don't listen sure. to him because he doesn't get my right either. This is broke. Yeah, this. <laughs> well, yours is as old. I, and, you know, and your, yours dates back to 2010. You didn't no. give me any update on that. Yeah, I'm, I get tons you of You are on AOL still. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck, guys. All right, have a good one. See you. you. All right, we'll move on to a uh, new application. Black Walsh and Sons. Request to register an existing contractor yard in construction business as a contractor yard. Uh, contractor yard two. A 30 acre site located at 24 Welch Lane, back map 34, lot 1A in the R1 district. Mark Welch and Sons is the African, and Mark Welch is the owner. So this, this is uh, notes. Uh, it's not a renewal of, of, of what you already have. It, uh, I, I misspoke when I said it was a re uh, renewal. Well, yeah, so it, this, this, the purpose of this is to grandfather existing. Yeah. This Make it a correct right? okay. Yep. Okay. And this, as, as you know, I think I, I mentioned in my notes that um, this, this operation has been going on for how many years now? Three? Yeah. And that that it was originally used for earth excavation. It's more since they put it out of material there, and uh, they just use it for their contract. That's your staging area. Yeah. Contract. 
Yeah. Your art is so they bring in material and they make screens and they fix it and they store it. But, uh, and there's a new map. This, this map is Mark actually, uh, Mr. Welch actually had this survey. No, this is not a survey. She's very explicit about That's that. That's true. It's not I know Fran. It's, well, an accurate, it's an accurate measurement of oh, it's right. where it is. Yeah. It's, it, it's on the ground location of actual piles versus just an aerial, which is what we get from most of the other schools. So, so it's just an aerial. It, that can be a survey, just not a proper a boundary survey. It's not a boundary right. I guess yeah. I had her do this to but give you guys man. more detail on exactly yeah. that's great. what's this there. Is this plan is going to get approved. This it might just as well be this is everything that's out there. Yeah, on this that is grade. fantastic. It is fantastic. It's more than what we actually needed. Don't tell yeah, but we don't want to come back here, right? No, yeah. we don't want to come back to you either. <laughs> So I gave you the, the uh, basically the, the performance criteria and the ordinance and how it meets and exceeds that. And everything is, is met or exceeded. Yeah, the only, the only issue, the only other issue would be just like the buffering along the, the, uh, um, the uh, norm previous one. Right, which that, that property, when I bought it in 1985 from Scott West, Scott had gone around the whole entire property, 50 feet wide, and cut everything from the property line in 50 feet. So when I bought it, it was clear. Yeah. Yeah. Everything towards Route 1 and out towards the Limerick Road from where we operate, you can see the difference in the growth because that's just grown back up, but right. we use this piece of ground up on top there next to Norms. Yeah. Have been for years and years. And and there's remember when we walked out there? Yeah, you guys have been there. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's a topographic elevation change there too. It drops off there. Yes. Basically, so if you're standing on Norms land, you don't know you're there. No, his, his trail pack sets down over the bank. There's a buffer. Yeah. There's actually, and there's trees in between those and us, which we drive up on top of that bank all day, every day, and we've never ever had a complaint from any one of those people on that yeah. park. They've been wonderful. And they're so long, there hasn't been a complaint yet. No. But all I'm, I'm just saying to you guys, that property was cut and cleared when I bought it. Yeah. I didn't strip that off. Okay. And that was I, when? Roughly, roughly. When they cut it? Yeah. I oh, bought it in 85 and it okay. was cut then. So. All right, it was pre-existing before 85. Yeah, I would guess 80. Well, I guess that. One, two, three, something. Yeah, maybe. but I'm just saying we're not. Yeah. But when since then, it has drawn back naturally. Not on the top that no. we're using, but everything. Yeah. On both ends of it's grown back up. So, <coughs> this one tonight at scheduling a sidewalk. Need if you need to do a sidewalk, yes. If you don't, you don't have to. But what you, what you do have to do is have a public hearing. Okay. And I need seven days notice for that public hearing versus 10. So we can have the public hearing at the next meeting. Um, can, can I ask you a, can I ask a, a couple questions? Sure. Um, first question is the, the, the thing in the submission requirements about uh, rights of way, utility easements, and that sort of thing. Um, no one else has any. Am I allowed to? Have, I'm sorry, I'm new on the on the board, Mark. So I, 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 I'm, I'm learning what what I'm, what I'm allowed That's to do. Fine. Can I can I answer the direct question? Direct. With Welch Lane, does anyone else? have a legal right to use well Lane. My brother Gary. My son Todd. Go going go to where? To what property? Uh, his Gary's lot is the one just before you get to my shop on the left. So he, he's a right on Welch Lane. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. And, and, and the first one in on the left is my middle son Todd. Just Does that land show? Not really shown on the plan. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, so it's, it's all so it's just the yeah, father out of that plan. Yeah. Oh, okay. So th this this isn't. Yeah, it's in this pretty. It's took back. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so so I guess my question is. Um, I guess the question for the, the planner, are, are there, when we're grandfathering something like this, do, do we concern ourselves with road maintenance agreements or easements or anything like that about Little Plain? Um, not as part of this because for these properties to have gotten building permits in the first place, they needed to meet all the standards for private ways and, and the, uh, the legal, um, basically the legal issues that are involved in a uh, road maintenance agreement. I believe you have one, don't you? You don't have one. I do it all. Right, but <laughs> so you do, you take care of the road completely yourself. Yep. Ted, in 1985, there was no requirement for road maintenance. Chip, 1985, your father was sitting right there. My <laughs> father, and Milner, and I, 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 Mr. I, I, Harris. I, I, I'm well aware I didn't. It was a five minute and meeting and $15 when we were and on and our and way. And the way things should be. Well, yeah. it's not going to happen this time. <laughs> it, um, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm, not to meet. I, I'm not trying to, you know, I, I just, I, I'm going down and you checked off does not apply and I see a private way and I'm just asking. Where's the one nut on this? Where's what? Lug nut, your neighbor. Which one? Do, do you, do you? No, the one with the, John. The, uh, You're right at the very end of Mark, Mark do, do you own Welsh Lane? Yes. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to worry about it. So th this is not coming out to the old Limerick Road? No. It goes that's, the that's, that answers the question. John's on the left yes. as you turn in. Yeah, my lane. Turn out. Old Limerick Road is yep. farther yep. that way. And he's a great guy. He's oh, yeah, 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 I know that. Yeah. Is that Sean over here? Is he? I don't see one of them. I'm just, his I'm property, to orient myself. His property is not even shown because this is not going to the old yeah, Limerick right, Road. Right. Mark's yeah. lane goes to the old Limerick Road. The, the, the only other question I had is that there's a, a dashed line on the survey, and again, this is my ignorance. Uh, it says boundary line between YCRD 8308-94 and 13879-001. What the heck does that mean? Is this two different lots? It, it either, it, my interpretation of it is it would have either been two different lots or two different conveyances to mark what she now considers one lot. Yes, yeah, I bought this this lot out here was separate from Rainy back uh, how many years ago, but originally I owned from here out, now I own back to here. Right. Okay. So it, and, it, and the deed you provided us describes. Yep. It describes there. There. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay. I just I, bought everything I, on this side well, of the I, I understand. I, and, and uh, no, good I, question. I, I, I get, I, I just want to make sure. So I Chip, the, the nomenclature is your county registry of deeds, YCRD. <laughs> Okay. Book and page numbers. So just a <laughs> reference of where, you know, those lots came from. Right. Yeah. No, I, I get. But it's the, all registered. The, 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 yeah. But the the, the the key is, and this is taxed as one lot now. I believe so. Yeah, I believe, I believe it's all yeah. those ones. Okay. But if you look in your packet, there's uh, there's deeds in it. Oh, yeah, so. I, I I saw I saw all the deeds, but I I can read the. Property descriptions. I've got enough problems doing that myself. As <laughs> as concerned by some of us who have been out there before, the mapping hasn't changed any. Um, I don't necessarily know we need to have a site walk per se. On my opinion, or turning yes, we still need a public hearing. Yes, we yes, have. Yes. Uh, I I I concur with Marty. I don't see any need for site walks. I'd like to get the, uh, with our new seven day instead of ten day, I'd like to 
Uh, can I make a motion? Uh, yeah, I make a motion. I make a motion. Yeah. Huh? I make a motion that we have a public hearing on this application and then a vote on to approve its completeness at our next meet, put on the agenda for our next meeting. Okay, a second on that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Roger Bigna. Okay. You got it, Roger. Okay. Discussion? What's the date of that? Uh, Question. The uh, 13th of October. Can, can we move on the completeness tonight? You can move on the completeness tonight. But you know what? This is actually technical. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Do it. Well, well if, I mean, if it's not appropriate, well, why don't we just wait until we have the public hearing? No, we, you. Because technically we should deem it complete before we. Okay, okay. I, yeah. would, I withdraw my motion. Okay. And we'll let, let, let's, let's start over again. Can I, can I do that? Keep it a little simple. It's driving the secretary nuts. And we were voting on that motion, so you can always cancel it out, but. But we haven't voted well, to approve the motion. Why, 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 yeah. We haven't even voted the motion. Why, yeah. why, no, why, here, why, why, why can, can, can yeah. I withdraw the motion? You and can. Yeah. Start over. We're going to vote on yeah. the You withdraw? Yeah. yeah, I'll withdraw. Okay. So that motion okay. off the table. So, okay. Yeah. So I, I, I make a motion that we approve this application as complete. That we uh, not approve it, but Determined. that we deem it. We deem it. Deem it. Yeah. Okay. Great. Second on that. Roger, you jump okay. I'll second it. Okay, okay. now I'll get to the next one. Okay, so, <laughs> go ahead. All, uh, any discussion? And now you want to make a motion to vote on the public? Wait, no, no, we're going to vote on that. All in favor? Yeah. Complete? Okay. Yeah. All approved? Um, now, that's yes, motion. So okay, so second motion is that we hold a public hearing at our next meeting on October 13th. October 13th. Yep. For this project. Yeah. In second. Sorry, sorry. You got the second word. Oh, you got the second okay. You just have to take my turn. Okay. Any more. other discussion on it? Any other thing? Okay. All in favor of that? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I agree we don't need uh, the second one in there. If anything, we'd see what a good job we do over there. Okay. Okay. You're welcome. welcome. Yeah. Just trying to fit it in to all of us there. I understand. Yeah. Plus it's getting darker. Thanks, yeah. Mark. Um, 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Sorry, we're at the station. It's in that station. We'll, we'll be here. <laughs> then we're in a pair of panels in town? I hope not, because then I don't have a place to be. Shame to you, I know. There's no room. I think if they keep it, it's going to kind of upset the parking lot. Okay. So, well, we're in the front middle, entrance. We're, we're in the middle the of the, of the oh, bus queue yeah. lane right they now. They've changed the grade a little bit. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Thank you. Okay, good. Now we move on to the planner's business. Next item planner's report. Planner's report. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Before you start planner's report, what about Go these two things? I have a question since I wasn't here at the last meeting. Did we ever get anything besides verbally on seasoned cottages from the fire chief? Yes, we got it written. We yeah. did actually get something real. Absolutely. All right, that was my, because we were adamant about that. And, well, and we got it. The fire chief's first written response was it fails. The, the plan that they had given us had failed. And when they combed it out and they, they moved the, uh, on the uh, Goodwin's Mills uh, ladder truck, I ran all the cones off. So, they didn't have, you know, as we suspected, their turning radius, they didn't have the turning radius. Okay. Okay. So they made changes and they worked. It worked. Okay, that's all I just saw. But you can that. To that effect. We've chased Both before. That's why I was asking. Yep, no, nope. it's you. all taken care of. Now you're going to play. Okay, thanks. Okay. Um, you have a couple of things that are in front of you. Uh, one is, um, I see everybody looking at the hiss so let's go to that one right now. His son development uh, wants to start working um, from Great Guns and Bartlett Farms, Bartlett Farms 2. Um, their issue is that they, they have a uh, bit of a hobble on them right now in 
terms of what they can and can't do. Um, they are limited to phase one of that first cul-de-sac that was the maximum number of units they can build. Um, and that was an amendment. Originally, they weren't allowed to build any units until they had all the infrastructure out there completed. What they haven't done is they haven't blown through to uh, Liberty Acres uh, at this point. Um, and uh, they are um, they are, aren't intending to continue doing that until they get some more houses built. Um, they've built just about all the other infrastructure except for that second means of egress. And um, the second means of egress, as it's explained in the uh, Zone, uh, excuse me, the subdivision ordinance is based on ADP, it's based on trip generation. It's not based on number of units, it's based on trip generation. Trip generation is uh, you have to have a second means of egress or a second connection mm -hmm. uh, if you have more 250 trips or more a day. Uh, clearly, with five units, they don't have 250 trips. So they're asking for an amendment to their, uh, to their subdivision approval. So they could, in fact, get more units. Uh, it all depends also what we use for the ITE trip generation. Um, they can be anywhere between six trips per day for a single family home to 10 trips per day. The old one was 10 trips Yeah, that was my understanding of the typical single family home. It was 10. Right. And How many houses? went down to six. They've already been built here. They did have three, three. Four. four. ITE doesn't understand anybody in my family, do they? No, they don't. Okay. Why, you have more than 10? Ten? Ten yeah. well, they didn't <laughs> have many days, a yes. soccer practice, <laughs> practice, dance practice. Isn't there five days. homes there now? Yeah. I thought it was three. No, five. Are, two, the, are the initial three in the back and the three in the front? Is three in the front? No. Two. Three in the front does not count. That was part of Farms 1. This is part of Farms 2. So this is, this is, this is from the... From the That's all together. Home. The tree line together. From the three houses in the front. You, you, when you say in the front, you're talking about right up adjacent to Old Alfred Road. Right, right, right. right, right, right. right. That's part of phase one. Yeah. yeah. Phase that, two. That, that should include the trip generations. Yeah, because they're coming out on the yeah. same road. So it's all part of the same subdivision. That's, that's their egress. Well, yes. if you want to include that, that's fine. To my knowledge, but including those three, they've got two other you know, homes built. Yeah, five they've there. got a, another one, I think, in the process. Yeah, process, no right? But the, what they would yeah, like to do is they want to expand that. So if it's, let's say it's 10 per day per house, that would That's be That's a strike, too. I mean, ITU also shows for single family house six. So look, even if it was 10, they, they could build 25 homes before needing to put that in. Um, so, and if you look at our phasing plan we have for seasonal cottages, we go way down that. We're in more than 25. So, so does, and I, you know, I wasn't on the board when this was approved. Does Bartlett Farms 2 start at the, where they have the, essentially the cul-de-sac right now? So anything, starts, anything beyond the gate the right there? Like it starts, it starts, it starts at that. pretty much when it's at the pond. Cul-de-sac. Is that the cul-de-sac? First cul-de-sac. So everything from Farms One. Everything from Old Alfred Road. They were they were allowed to build from there back, fill that, and then the condition was before they could build all back, they had to connect to Liberty Acres. What they're asking is a modification. One question along that Liberty Acres. Yeah. That was all talk talk. Okay. I'm just saying it was all talk talk. What's that mean? They, have have they ever did a purchase sale agreement of the right of way from two Liberty Acres? That's what I'm saying is they were going to. It's just like how seasonal cottage is going to do it to Mountain Road. Is going to buy the land, yeah. But has it been actually? Sorry, that. that would be something that the board. I mean, first of all, you're gonna have to take official action on this because we're not amending it. I'm just asking the question. Um, they would have to submit. Uh, I asked Kurt that question. I said, the rumor is you don't have that easement. 
we don't have the right to build through. He said, we do. Yeah, I know. We have the property. It. We bought the property. We, we have the right to do it. I said, then you might have to provide that proof to the planning. Because um, uh, it was all talk, talk. Executed. Well, he says it's been executed. Okay. Now, I don't think he would tell me that if it hadn't, but you know, uh, he has to give me proof of that. And he said he would. Okay, so that's but it doesn't matter if you guys approve what they're asking them. No, but what I was trying to get at is so that for the future. It only, matters, it only matters when you force them to get the second ingress. Right. And if we, if we have approved that and then delay the requirement to build upon that, I don't know why we need to have any ev any more evidence now than what we had then but we didn't that have the road that, that the right but what I'm saying is if, if it was approved without that evidence they're looking to be able to delay having to construct that if we want to if we're if we're contemplating approving that I don't know why we would need to have further evidence that they own it or don't own it still have to do it at a certain point. Right. All we're saying is you've got more time to be able to do it from what, as I understand, uh, I'm not, the request. Yeah. Uh, I'm not clear um, if they just want us to just remove that condition or modify it. Or 250 or, or they ask them for no, no trips per day. No. I mean, they, that you can't do that according to your subdivision ordinance. They cannot and have more than 250 trips per day. So, so without providing a second means of egress. So, it's, it's not the way it's been actually written, it's kind of sloppily written because it says for connection to another proof of subdivision street. Well, all of us are proof of <laughs> subdivision streets. But I understand yeah, it. Many, I'm, I'm yeah. interpreting it the way the planning board is that it's the second means of egress out of the project. Right. So what what jurisdiction do we have? Yeah, what we can do whatever you well, want. Well, yes, yeah, yes, we, we, we have no. jurisdiction we because have jurisdiction. because no. because the, we the, the board approved something way mm. back when saying yeah. after I assume after five lots or pretty much phase one, you got to have before you start building in the back, you got to have the the secondary connection, right? No, 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 has, no. They can be building up to. No, 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 no. 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 What, what was approved? What was approved was they couldn't build anything. Right. Is they had up to that cul-de-sac first five That's lots, it. and then they had to get an extension. Yeah, I, they had to extend the street okay. all the way out. So that was that was what was approved. Well, that's what, that. that that the, that that's what I'm taking as the condition of the approval. That's what I'm taking as the. It's in it's in the back in the conditions right. of approval. And you were on a board time when we did that. Dan was there too. So, yeah. so now it's up to oh. us if we want to amend that. Amend that. Act, you know. Okay. Listen the to their request to, to do that. To do that. To do that. I'm speaking for them when I can do they, Okay. So I may be inaccurate, but it's my understanding that they have they're aggressively marketing the property out, and there are people who are picking lots, and those lots aren't necessarily sequential. So, you know, somebody wants a lot way down below where they have privacy, they want to be able to sell that lot and not eliminate their market. Yeah. Um, and so they're more than willing to accept the maximum number of units on an improved road. You know, he also said it has to be on an improved road, by yeah. the way. It has to be on something we've already, that's been built and we've approved yeah. thus far. And they agreed, yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I'll, I'll throw out the other end. I have no problem if if they sell them something out as long as they they, they have that the back uh, road all complete before a certain limit. And as far and in everything every like you just said, it, any road, any house they build has to be has to be all approved roads and infrastructure. Are are they? They've sent this to you yesterday. Yes. Are, are they going to be scheduled for an upcoming agenda? Yes. So I think, I mean, honestly, we've had some good background discussion now, but we should probably wait to hear from them and, and, 
have any any deliberations about what we think, what we don't think while they're here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is just this is just to inform you yeah. and see what the board's. No, I mean, I think I, I mostly it's been background information, but considering that there are a number of new people, right? Ted, I, I I would very much like a definitive answer to the question Marty brought up. Which one? Uh, do they in fact own the property or own rights to? make the second connection that was in the original subdivision plan as approved. And that, I, that, uh, that, it, that is a, that's, to me, that is significant. Mm -hmm. not, not that they have to build the road, but that, that in the future that they are able to. Correct. Definitively able to. Yes. So my recommendation to them would be to provide us with that easement, that executed easement booking page. Is it an easement or sale? I we don't know. Was, I think it was, they said easement, so I think he's got an easement. So is that going to be a public road in the future? No, it's a private road. Okay, now this question along that lines is okay. back. Okay. No, I don't. I thought it was. Is it going to be a public road? road? I, I, I thought it was a sworn out. Yes, be a public yeah, road. Be no, yes, because discussions when less I own the property, I'm making it. A private way, and then less side sold the property, and I, I thought they bought it. Yeah, I didn't think it was an easement either. No, because we'll, we'll find out. We're, we're speculating. We'll find, find, out. Out. Yeah. Yeah. find out from them, yeah. and then the board can it make a decision. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and we're we're like we talked about in the, the verbiage, with way, people use matter. right away easement all the time interchangeably when yeah, legally it's not quite it's not the same thing. And, and the next question is right. also. If any of these modifications turn out back then, the standard of the road was what in comparison to today? That road is pretty solidly built, Marty. No, 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 no. I, I'm not the saying. The standard has not changed since. I mean, for this coming to Liberty Acres, which hasn't been built yet. That's what I'm going at. So. Can we. Uh, uh, I have a question about the uh, the number of building permits, reading from 525. Um, I don't I don't see any limit to how to five units. Where's that coming from? It's actually up to the first call of sentence. No, I think what Tom was asking is where's the, the number document? of building permits? Where's the document that says this, this document says no building permits shall be issued until all roads? Right. Right. So where where is the where where is the I think language that which says that it's so okay that took me a little bit. And I believe what it is is from based on what I've heard is that you got lots pretty much lots one through five in phase one, right. yeah. and then lots six through twenty five or however many there we are in phase two. Right. So that yeah. essentially nothing can go in Bartlett Farms two. Mm. Maybe. Which is essentially the second phase beyond those first five okay. lots. Maybe. So I think Maybe. it's not it's not Bar clear Bar Bar here. Farms two has five phases in it. Okay. Okay. Just I'm just reading. Yeah. Just some yeah, class. But just to to be clear, so. Right. Do you think the twenty five they came up with that from the two hundred fifty? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like that. Right. They would. They went conservative. Right. And their intent is to build the whole thing, but they want, they, what they want to do is they want to first of all start getting a return on their investment, which was made back in about 2000. They've been very busy waiting now. Oh, this oh, was 2006. No, this was 2006. Don't lie, Mike. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember when, but it's been a while. November 7 for this. I started on the board because of that. <laughs> oh, that was, it was oh, that's a, oh, you had an agenda. That's <laughs> no, I just, you know, I. I yeah. I think it was 2005, 2006, before his song took it, because if you remember correctly, um, the original owners of the property were going to do this, and then his song came in two years later to help him finish it off. Yeah. I mean, it was a few years that yeah. got going on it, but when and then the recession started, hit. We bought our house in 2003, pretty much right across the road from this, and it wasn't too many years after we had moved in that they started building the first three lots right up along. It may have even been 2004 when they built the first house on Tamrock's 
I'm pretty sure I started on the board in yeah, 2003, yeah. and that's when they started. Yeah. That's when they, they first approached the board, I think it was in 2003. Yeah. And it wasn't this one then either. It, well, well, it was when I did, when yeah. I was on the board. Yeah, but, but before yeah, I was on. It, okay. Is phase one, there's still open lots on phase yes. one, right? Yeah. I think there's still at least one more open lot. Yeah. Yeah. Ted, if you, yeah. if, I think it would be very helpful is if you were able to provide mm -hmm. a the, the overall phasing plan for the meeting, yeah. well, whether it's by our <laughs> records or have them. Yeah, they should have to yeah, I, think, that. I think they should be at the, the, oh, the yeah. agenda for the next meeting. They should bring the phasing plans in and documentation that they have legal rights to the road. Right. I think, that, I mean, just the phasing plan would be very helpful for everybody as we're talking about this and making it clear what's Bartlett Farms 1 and 2, phase, you know, it's my understanding it was from the call to cycle. Yeah. But yeah. I will bring that. Home. One of the major concerns back then was we were afraid that they were going to occupy 30 building permits all at once and build 30 houses and then from all on. But you can't, you can't do that for your, 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 your ordinance anyway. Right. But that was some concern of the board at the time. Well, it was, yeah. I mean, you had a, basically a huge project and, right. and, and a very aggressive group of, of developers who, yeah. who had a, a, a Basically, a model type that was selling like hotcakes at that time. So we said she did put the brakes on. Yeah, yeah. Changed, yeah. changed their entire their entire uh, market scene. And they had the brains to actually sit and wait. They had the money. They had the money. They had the money, they had the money. They had the money to sit and wait. Okay, okay. so um, got that. Now we'll mm -hmm. tell them that. We'll tell them the thirteen. Thirteen is going to be packed. All right, the uh, other thing was uh, I have a request from um, Rick McLean, uh for us to reconsider uh, accessory dwelling units and uh, allow them to be remote from the, from the primary house, primary unit. So they can be in house building from the primary unit. And uh, uh, that's an official request. We were going to do this back before he submitted to this in April. I said, well, let's finish with our, our zoning stuff and we'll get, get to this. And we haven't done any, very much since then because we've been so bloody busy. thought I'd give you guys this so you know it's in the, it's, it's in the lanes. And then it's an official request to get to the board. We have lots of zoning stuff to do, guys. We still have, just, just for me to run down it, we still have to do, we have to finish our stormwater. Um, I have not heard back, well, I have, I've heard back from Lydia, she wants to sit down and talk about right away again. Um, but we have, I, I've also sent an email to Melda. Uh, the equestrian committee has not produced anything at this time, to my knowledge. Um, and uh, Animal husbandry. We've got tons of, we've got I mean, all of the before animal husbandry. Well, that's actually the thing about animal husbandry is the issue of actually zoning in the residential districts because it relates to the complaint committee their dealing with animal husbandry is related to zoning in the residential districts so it's more than just animal husbandry it's a, it's a bigger issue of, of um, graduated scale of uses in the residential districts based on based on uh, so it's a little more complex than just being a little husband. Sure. That's if we proceed to do what the company can be recommended. Sure. Question on this. Uh, what, uh, are we required to act on, on any um, petition or request like this? Do we, we, do we have to act within a certain amount of time? No. no. Uh, what, what you mean is a request, and you can consider it. Um, a formal request. Mm -hmm. uh, what you do when it comes down to any kind of uh, request for a zoning change is um, there's two, there's three ways to do it. One is it's initiated by the selectman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number two, it's initiated by petition. Mm -hmm. Or three, it's initiated by a citizen or a group of citizens. But it still has to be approved by town vote. Right. It has to be approved by town vote. The planning board, uh, the planning board um, unless it's a petition, 
to the point, unless it's from the select plan, the plan board doesn't have to entertain something it doesn't want to entertain. Um, and so I, you have you have the rights to do that, but I think you know, get a request. I'm not saying either way, but I just think with um, if if we have a lot of other work to do, you know, we don't want to just keep pushing this off till next. I think year. it deserves to be addressed um, by the board. Um, and maybe hear the uh, hear hear the uh, proposer out on it, and then say, well, this is where you want to make queue. This is where we're going to pursue this in queue. I, but I think it, it should be addressed. Any petition should be addressed by the board. So, so this is a request to reconsider the accessory dwelling units ordinance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not the ordinance. It's a section in the LUO, in the land use ordinance. Yeah. Okay, it's, so so it's not a standalone. What, what what is an accessory depart apartment defined as? Well, an accessory apartment is in the zoning ordinance, and it's under accessory apartment. It originally was the mother-in-law apartment. A dwelling, a separate dwelling unit that has been added on or created within a single family house for the purpose of providing separate living accommodations. So it's kind of like a, um, should we be as, you know, we all want to go home or do we want to talk about this for a little time? Well, we'd like to go home. No. <laughs> I don't think we should you know, it, it's not going to be on our schedule, like Tom said. We've got a lot of other things on the zoning document that have to be changed before we even get to this. But I will give you a quick well, rundown of what this is. This was originally a mother-in-law apartment concept um, in which you allowed your mother-in-law or, or any family member to have a separate apartment in your house. Okay, yeah, that's what that. okay. And then now it's it's allowed by right. It's allowed by right for any single family uh, unit to have an accessory apartment. Okay, but, but what he what he is asking for is to be able to have a Entirely separate structure, right? right? Yeah, which could be a mother-in-law unit, but it could be just turned into a rental unit. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It could, yeah. Not, uh, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it won't be a mother-in-law apartment forever. It's just the, be around forever. Yeah, so, and the idea yeah. of the mother-in-law or the, the accessory yeah. apartment was that it was part of the house, so it was more likely that you were going to have somebody who was a relative or somebody that you felt comfortable living in your house in a separate apartment there and as it and, and this idea of it being separate now makes it into a truly a, a separate standalone apartment. Okay, it, 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 it all, um, like, you know, again, take, going to the extreme, you could in, in essence build two rental houses on right. one lot. Yeah, correct. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, correct. And that's not what the zoning was designed to do. That's stretching it way out. Yeah. Well, but I mean, this this is this is blowing the door off. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, again, that's, I mean, that's his that's his prerogative to make the request. I, I, yeah, I, exactly. I, I'm not. Yeah. I, it, it certainly is his prerogative to make the request, and, and um, I mean, he he I no idea anything about his situation, but you know, obviously he's got some reason. So I agree with that. Is it's it's at some point. When we get into a discussion of zoning matters, you know, when the place not full with projects and things, tell him that it's going to be on the agenda and invite him. And then, you know, we hear what his input is and, and I get to it when we get to it. Yeah. I'm just concerned that, that it, um, it's some reasonable time. I don't want to leave him. Oh, right. Because that, that won't, that's not. No, no. Well, I'll tell you, right now we're in a situation where I don't have a lot of stuff in the, um, in the hopper. Is he aware that this, what, that, the, what a typical process would be yes, for? Sure. Okay. So he's not, he's not under any illusions that, that we take this up at the next meeting and give him some approval. No, okay. he understand, Rick understands the process. Right. Um, he also, um, but he also, you know, um, he asked me the other day.
day where we stand up, I said, I told him the board's been so busy with processing applications, they yeah. really dealt with it. I didn't notice the date. Yeah. Well, you know, frankly speaking, we haven't even had a public hearing on our zone change. Right. Our, our, not our zone change, our ordinance right. change. We haven't had any public hearing on the, uh, on the growth ordinance, which we need to do, and they need to, we need to have that special town meeting on that. I've got to do that this year. I can't wait till next year. Well, why haven't you done it? Well, I'll be happy to load you up on a whole bunch of stuff. I want. No, I, I, that was that was just a smart element. That's a good question, and I'll be happy to load up the first one. Happy to load up the first one here. Happy to load up the first one here, so we'll be out by midnight. Um, and no, this brings up the whole issue. Really, we, yeah. you know, maybe we should do. We should start scheduling some of these things for, yeah, the second October meeting, um, because we do have to do that. With the Fire chief's coming in. Uh, he's he's planning to come in on the 13th with the uh, fire protection ordinance changes that they were proposing. Good. Mm -hmm. So, but I mean, we're going to have. So we'll probably have. Well, we're going to have. More, I, I, we're going to have. Well, we're going to have Welch. We're going to have Brookside, uh, and we're going to have um, probably lot three. Commerce Center. Mm -hmm. so that should be interesting. That's just our application. I'm just curious. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but if he he submitted this April 16th. What what? How do we set the um, the yeah, agenda? Like uh, someone else might submit something uh, three weeks ago, and it will be will be reviewing them. It seems like he's been put on hold for quite some time. Yeah. I think well, it's, well, it's, 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 it's a low priority because we're trying to get through some other stuff right now. Some of the other stuff, though, has been much, coming on much later than out at, than he submitted this. Yeah, but you also haven't done a lot of work on your zoning at all in any of the zoning. The last time well, we did, so why, why does only he be put aside? And why, why didn't you give a this? A lot to, of stuff has been put aside. I'll tell you honestly, there's a lot of stuff that's been put aside. The landscaping ordinance hasn't even been brought up again. We haven't brought up a, a lot of the stuff. You guys have been Ted, I, 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 busy I, I, with your others, your your processing applications, which, it's my understanding, is your first priority. And second thing is, I don't set the agendas. Well, you, you, you chair don't sets the agendas. Do. You decided to give this to us tonight. Yeah, I said I decided to give it to you. I didn't put it on the agenda tonight. No, no, but I, I don't understand why you didn't give it to the board in the end of April, or beginning of May. Because we were at that time, you were racing to get through a uh, an ordinance, if you recall. I, I, I feel it's it's but, but, but you could, but you could still give it to the board to to just as a, as a matter of information, so the board is aware that there's a citizen that's making a request and, yeah. and the board can just, it, it, I guess what I'm trying to say is, from my perspective, this should have come to, this should have been given to the board, same way you gave it to us tonight, and had a short conversation about, okay, we, we can't, we don't have time to deal with this right now, but that's for the board to do. Um, the chairman said we didn't need to address this immediately. Okay. Well, the rest of the board yeah. didn't know well, about it. Yeah. That's, we, what, he, that's what Chip's getting at. We, the rest of the board didn't know about it. We, we that's why we asked him to try to at least to be brought up to our attention that we have other issues so, along the way. I'm, and, and I'm not saying we have to Develop, we act upon it. We have to develop I, yeah, the ordinance I'm, form. Yeah, I'm just I'm, to make a decision whether we will or not. I, I, yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm not inclined to, to put this on a high priority, and I'm really not inclined to. Uh, just my, my gut reaction is no, but but uh, but, but I, I I didn't even notice the date. I, that that's just, that's 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 not good. I, I don't I don't think that's right. And if I need to tell Rich that, I'll do it myself. Okay. Can I ask a question? Yeah. So the chair sets the, sets the agenda. Planner's report. Isn't that you? Yep. The chair has no... doesn't tell you what to say in your planner's report. No. Okay. 
Yeah. Is this town so big that any applicant that comes in can't be heard? I mean, putting an applicant on low priority and, and, and putting it aside because the board is busy, I think, in my personal opinion, I think that's wrong. If an applicant comes to the planner and asks questions about what he can and cannot do, I don't think it should be set aside. Yeah. It should be brought to the board yeah. and they should deal with it. Whether it's yes or no, applicants should not just be yeah. put in the drawer for months and months. Well, you understand uh, this, this town is not that big. Yeah, I mean, this, this was not an application. This is not an application. But to but me, it still falls under the same category. It was right. a, it's a, it's a request. Right. Yeah. It was a request. It's a request. To, yeah. And yeah. It's a request, it's a request for change. An answer. I, so, I, I agree with Phil. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, I think we, I really do. We we did it. We've done a real good job of of improving our image with the residents. We were mm -hmm. under the gun that we don't care about business. We don't care about residents and and if, True or not, but we worked hard. And Tad's done a real good job help, helping us to I'm get not criticizing, believe me. And, and, and I don't want to lose sure. that. Yeah. So I, I know you guys worked yeah. hard. I yeah. did a tough well, job. I, I, right. And, and 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 you gotta make some decisions that people don't like. Yeah. And I understand that. It happens. Uh, it happens. But, but but to put to put a request, whether it's an application or a formal request or whatever. To just set it aside for yeah. months because we don't have time to look at it. Doesn't it. look good. It, it doesn't look good, and and I think the applicant should at least be recognized yeah. by the board. Yeah. Yeah. Phil, that, that's exactly what I was objecting to. Yeah, and and then the 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 board could say to the applicant, that we, don't we are very very, very yeah. busy for the next six weeks or three meetings, eight meetings. We can hear you a little bit later, but we can't right now. <coughs> the applicant should at least know that. Well, I think you, you expressed that to the applicant that we had a full docket and we won't be able to get to it. Yeah, I know, but I, I think it's your your decision whether you work this or not. Not the chairs, not the... To me, that's what the planner's report is about, right? He'll tell you this is the stuff that I got coming. And you guys make the decision and tell that you know, hey, we want to look at this, and yeah, I, it should I, just I, get I, shown. I, 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 I'm, I'm, when I see April 26th, that's a long time. I didn't Absolutely. Know, I, I first looked at it. Absolutely. All right. Uh, question. Question. Through the chair. Uh, through the question. Can we, as the planning board, okay, have a punch list so that we don't get CRS on? Can't remember. Can't remember stuff. stuff. You want me to put it the other way? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Cool. I mean, uh, so that we can turn around and address, I mean, okay, like our ordinance changes or anything else, but like for an example, like, okay, this was back in October. We didn't know about it, or in August, uh, April. It's, so we try to at least have a punch list. Well, I, I, another thing is, you know, we're, we're, we're talking about uh, stormwater management, which is a great big, uh, it, it, it affects everybody. big chunks, yeah. it affects everybody, every applicant, and it affects big chunks of the land use ordinance. We, we've got a simple request from a resident who we should be responsive to that I don't think requires more than 15 or 20 minutes of discussion, quite frankly. Not to on this board. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. right. look, look what, what we're doing what now. <laughs> 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 <I'm not laughs> <helping. laughs> you mean right. you don't open no, let's put that in the box. Hey, quiet from yeah. the peanut gallery. How, 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 however long it takes to do it, I just, I, I don't care. Yeah, okay. I, 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 I think I think Phil made the, uh, you know, I don't want to beat a dead horse. I just, uh, the, uh, having this thing go into file 13 since April is wrong. So we so agree with that. Follow my instructions that the chair gives me. Okay, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll, we can send a message can we to the chair. Yeah. Yeah. Can so, we put that on the agenda for next to discuss 
I think we, I think <laughs> no, I think no, it'll be in the minutes. I think it'll be in the minutes to try next, to make sure. At next meeting's plan of sure. report. Okay. No, make it an agenda item. Make it an agenda item. Planning's agenda is mine. Okay. Uh, I get a report on what so you guys I think, asked me. Actually, as a board, we are requesting that we have that item added to the agenda for the next meeting. You want it on the agenda for next meeting? No. Uh, this, uh, this this we got a yeah. small plan now. No. We so, all right. No. No. What do we want on the agenda? Is okay. a discussion okay. about, <laughs> about the agenda set. proper yeah. or problem. adequate conveyance Maybe that's of it. correspondence that's to the planning agenda. board, which yes. we all are part of, yeah. to everyone and not to be withheld until, until the planner the or the chairman deem it appropriate. But, yeah, so we don't, have to, we don't have to act on this specifically. Right. But, uh, generally. Okay. And Let, do we want that on the, on the agenda for the 13th? I, I don't think it, I don't think it needs to be that long a conversation. No, I no, think we would say yes. We'll, we all want to we'll convey our uh, so, so our I, I think to we've, 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 I think we've, we've done this <laughs> this conversation long enough. I see it, there's another item from um, it's still in the fire business. Yeah. Yeah. So did you address the uh, renewal of condition use permit for automobile automobile graveyard? I think that that must do the that just copying. Us on that correspondence? You, yeah, yeah. I, just, yeah. Yeah. I think that was just that okay. was just, just, just for our information. Yep. That. That. I didn't know why that was We approved that a while back. Do you want me to figure that Okay. Yeah, that was that was yeah. something a long time ago. I was so just a renewal. What? Is it could it be a renewal already? Is Has it been that long? No, yeah. it's because we approved it. You just approved it because right now he's got a legal junkyard, but his his permit expires in December. So I sent you the notice to, that I sent to him to remind him that he's got to get his application done before then, his renewal application. But didn't the selectman just recently? Yes, but it doesn't. It's it. still good, but it expires in December. So when they're right. looking at it, it's not in sync with us. When they're looking at it. Right now, he's got a permit, but that permit expires in December. They're dealing with, with the state issuance, the state license, and as far as the town's concerned, okay. he's That's got a license. Saying. State is, he's got a permit. They were issued and they were reacting on to the state side That's of right. it. That's right. They have to renew that every year. Correct. So they ask us whether or not they are, they're legal, and I said yes to both. Both of both the ones that were up for automobile junkyards have current permits. That's what they requested. That's what I responded to. But what I gave you was a heads up saying that Du Bois is, is, is expiring in December. And I gave you the letter that I sent to Marcel specifically reminding him he's got to get an application in or he'll lose his permit in December, what is it, 12th, 13th, whatever. Okay. Something like Very good. Good. So Thank it's you. just notifying, giving you communication that I'm sending the applicants. Very good. Anything else? Uh, no. Anything for it? One other thought. If the, when do they have a deadline to get it in? Because afterwards, I don't want to play Du Bois stage three, four, or anything else. The permit expires on December 13th or whatever it is. 12th. 12th. Yeah, so, so they need to get the application get get in, get it before, in before that day. Yeah. yeah. Typically, yeah. that's. Yeah. And technically, it says you, you your permit expires on the 12th. And if you don't have your approval by the 12th, you shouldn't be operating. Because okay. that's all the winter time. Hopefully the last one. There's snow, because we always take a sidewalk and everything else around there. That's why I'm asking that question. Okay. Yeah. But that's we'll when they, they got their permit three years. Assess that. Yeah. Anything in the film? Can I ask yeah. question yeah. to Planner? Sure. Has a, has a young fellow, uh, Brandon Solari, come in to see you? Yes. Is that? Area do, uh, doable for what he's looking for? Yes. Okay. He got some bad information. I sat down with him and his mother yesterday and cleared it up. Okay. Bad so, information? Well, it, there was confusing information. I wasn't here last week. I was on vacation. And yeah, I, I think we, he, I think another family member was involved and in misinterpreted something. And so they were under the impression that they, uh, 
they had a problem with doing what he wanted to do. He wanted to do basically the contractor yard and the uh, correct and the uh, and garden center. And I said, of course you can do it then. And then some, and, but there was some confusion because um, his, his grandfather misinterpreted something Jim had said about saying, well, you pick one. You're not limited to one. You're limited. I mean, you can do all three of those uses out there because they're all permitted uses. Out there. <coughs> yeah. so, go get your contract. Yeah, the reason he, had, he, he came to me and I told him he had to go and see you to get the right information yeah. and then he'd have to come here to get it approved. And he knows all, we went through that all yesterday and I and I assured him that he could go to the closing. Thank you. Yeah. Anything else from the audience? Okay. Um, do you think you're attending regularly? Huh? Until we, I guess we're ready to entertain a, a motion. Make a motion we adjourn. Yeah. Second. Second. All in favor? This is the record. Thank you for taking over. Thank you. It was, it was a good short night. It would have been much shorter if we didn't get on this last one. There. Your envelope.